Hi everybody and welcome to this weekend round full 18 hole playthrough for Expert Division in the Thanksgiving tournament here on the BK Golf Clash YouTube channel. I would massively appreciate a thumbs up from you all at this point, it would be very kind and make sure you subscribed if you haven't done so already. New front nine wins of course at the weekend, the back nine is the same as the opening round but don't worry, even though it's a long video we've got timestamps of each of the holes in the video description down below so you can skip to the hole you want to so you can just look at a few holes at a time if you want or you can go through the whole lot replays and adjustments on screen loads of drops here and suggestions of tweaks where necessary good luck everybody leave me a comment let me know how you get on let's start with hole one we begin this weekend round with a very nasty wind angle on hole one i would strongly recommend you go with a power three wind four ball try and keep the wind below eight add four top spin and three right spin setting up at the top of plus five with the APOC five and above. Ball guide just pointing to the left edge of that red yardage sign up ahead in the distance. APOC four is going to struggle here. You might need to improvise a little bit with the second shot and go with a higher power ball. A max plus 10 will take us into overpower, unfortunately. We are just into one and a half rings of OP, but I'm gonna add on three additional rings just to make sure we clear the rough. So here, I'm going with four and a half rings of OP. We've got a tutorial about measuring your rings of OP, looking at the tip of the needle on the Academy tutorial homepage. Try and hit perfect, no curl. As you can see, we just clear the edge of the rough uh, and the top spin is gonna take us nicely up the fairway. We don't get the glitch roll. Sometimes you will get into the 350s, but here we have three, four, six. Now I give you a back fringe check of plus three as an additional reference here in case you don't want to count rings from min, but my preferred method in case you get that longer drive is to use rings from min. So find the min line, push up till you get the red ring touching the beginning of the fringe, and then we want to add spin, gonna be a little bit of backspin and some left spin. The quantities will vary depending where you are from your drive. Find the middle of the funnel, get the ball guide pointing to the left edge of the cup level with the pin. 10% elevation, 1% slider, per ring from min. You'll see my red ring is actually a little bit away from the fringe there, but it's still gonna be okay. Uh, 20 rings from min is what I pushed up here, so I play 20% slider, 10% elevation. There's also that back fringe checker plus three if you want to use that reference instead. Pull over the bullseye and we want to catch the funnel very nicely here. Bear in mind if you use a higher power ball off the tee, you might need to tweak the rings from min adjustment because your min line will be in a different place so be advised on that one. Once again an excellent chance for hole in one using the funnel on the top left sorry top right of the green. Going with the guardian because of the tailwind eight backspin and two bars side spin to the right. Add your spin and then look at the second bounce it is on the edge of that uh, dark green square column. Two green squares high of the pin and it is the third complete dark green square column to the right, excluding the one that the pin stands on. Pause the video and have a look just to make sure you're in the same spot. The adjustment here, max plus 25, power three. Uh, and I would recommend you just uh, either aim a little bit further to the right, as in a couple of clicks, or you go with a couple of clicks right curl. And you'll see why right now. I would recommend you keep the wind below eight miles per hour if you can. The reason I suggest maybe adding a couple of clicks of right curl or aiming a little bit further to the right, as you can see, we just sneak it in on the left edge. So that would be a suggestion as a tweak on hole two. Hole three, another nasty wind angle here, but it is the weekend round, so you can expect to have a little bit tougher winds. Uh, 5.8 top spin, three left spin. Power four ball is very much recommended here, but you can make it with a kingmaker, but you will need more OP. Uh, start at top of plus 10 with APOC five and above. APOC four, you're starting at P3 max, but I would definitely go with a power four ball in that case. Um, so adding spin, red ring touching the rough if you've got APOC five and six, then we're gonna adjust max plus 10, power three, settings max plus 10 power three settings default amount of overpower is one and a half rings and we're going with approximately uh, two ball of curl to the left add on any additional op that you may adjust into 
definitely going to be the case with a power three ball. But like I said, power four, side spin three, win three is going to help you here. Uh, we get a drive distance of around 380 yards. Second shot, we're going to play with our sniper using landing position plus yards. We're going to add 0.8 bar backspin and find the first point where the ball guide gets clipped by the rough and you get the ball guide going through the hole by about one or two, uh, sorry, two green squares. So 0.8 backspin, then we're using the plus yards displayed. Plus one with the sniper 10 will be plus three with the sniper nine, and that is gonna give us 72% slider. We're playing at 10% elevation. And once again, use power three numbers, even if you were using a power four ball. So 72% slider, 10% uh, elevation, and we're going to hit perfect, and you'll see this catches the rough uh, in a very nice point, and we're dropping it for the albatross. So more aggressive drive, but that's the way you want to go if you want to try and get your alba on hole three. A much kinder wind angle, thankfully, on hole four, we can use the rock. We're going to go here with three and a half top spin and one bar side spin to the left. Max distance with the rock level eight, white ring touching the rough ball guide you'll see will point down the middle of the fairway. With the rock level 9 you will start at the top of plus 15. We adjust max plus 10 power 3 settings. This is possible with a rock level 7. You would need to push up after your adjustment though because you will have uh, 5 yards less power. So just be advised of that. Then we're going to take our shot after we've done our adjustment. Perfect ball, no curl, no overpower. Uh, just get a perfect down there and this is going to set up a rings from min approach with a thorn and once again with the rings from min we used it on hole one as well make sure you look at that method if you don't know it we've got a tutorial on it on the channel home page drive distance is going to be around 355 yards second shot find the minimum distance line this is a no um spin approach and you'll see I move up now from my rings from min position. There's five and there is 10 and you'll see the ball guide. I'm just gonna leave the tip of the ball guide. Uh, i give you a zoom in here. It's just before the front edge of the cup. And like I said, originally no spin at all here. So you just need to count your rings. We're gonna play 1% slider per ring from min. So 10 rings from min. I'm going to play 10% slider, zero elevation, power three settings, pulling over the bullseye. Perfect ball away here after a good adjustment is going to have a very, very good chance of an eagle on this one of the simpler par fours in the game, but nice to pick up a minus two. On number five, we have a nice wind angle here as well. Going to go with the rock and a power three ball, no move target position. We are going to play with two and a half top spin and three bars side spin to the left. Then we adjust max plus 15. Now, even though we're not at max distance, I want to play with max plus 15 elevation because the tailwind is going to push us a little bit further. If you have a high wind here, I would recommend you go a bit more with your adjustment. I would take a token or two just to test that out in case um, a very high wind will push you um, too close to the rough with your drive. Curl to the left as shown. Uh, look at the edge of the ball for the reference on that one. We get a perfect ball away and it's going to approach that dark patch on the fairway around 340 yards. Second shot, uh, the adjustment on the notepad is not what I go with with the video. This is a suggested tweak. We're going to need approximately one top spin and always three bars side spin to the right. Aiming with the sniper, second bounce just before the fringe. Ball guide, you'll see we're getting the long ball guide there. Try and avoid any glitchy spots. Aiming at the pin as best I can. Then in the video, I go with max plus zero. I then tried max plus five. Both were under adjusted. So I would recommend you go max plus 10 on this one. If you take a token or two and you find you're still missing to the right with max plus 10, then I would just modify the setup and have the ball guide aiming a little bit left of pin. Perfect ball away, the speed is very good, but like I said, under-adjusted, so my recommendation will be to go max plus 10 on the approach. 
Hole six once again with a setup with a power five ball in complete minimum distance with the blue ring touching the bunker this time, not the red. Make sure it's the blue. Then we switch to a kingmaker or a king slayer and add spin. Three back spin, two and a half side spin to the left. Try and keep that wind below eight miles per hour. This is an awkward adjust. You go through the bunker on the adjustment here and the pole might be in the way. Max plus 15, power three. You may, if your rings get a bit glitchy towards the end of the adjustment, try adjusting five rings and then pushing the rest. It all depends what suits you. Strongly advise to take a token or two. As you can see, it's not a very smooth procedure adjusting rings in and out of the uh, surface of the bunker there. Max plus 15, power three. Luckily, I get this one in the hole. It will need a few wind angle tweaks, so it's a very tough hole to drop anyway, regardless of adjusting into the bunker. But max plus 15, power three on that one. Quick break here. If you haven't seen my checkpoint challenge video update, please check it out. Uh, we've got some news for you about the wind conditions and also the courses that are being used. It starts on Monday, it runs for three days. So head over there and check out all the details on my update video. No chance of sending it on hole seven. We've got cross headwind. We're going to add spin though. 5.8 top spin, three left spin. And we're looking for the high bounce here. So make sure your target's in the right place. You don't want the low bounce. So have a look at the second bounce there. Measure how far it is away from the rough beyond the bunker. Uh, max plus 10, power three. Uh, APOC six, or rather APOC five and above. This isn't going to take you anywhere near max club. And APOC 4, in most wind strength and wind angles, you'll be OK. But in rare cases, you might need OP. So add on anything you adjust into. One ball curl to the left. And you'll just see I'm finding the point where the circle drops there as an overpower reference. And with the curl, we bounce. We get the high bounce, clears the rough nicely. And we're going to get a drive distance of around 325 yards. Second shot here. I just sneak this one in, so the slider value on the notepad is a tweak, which should get you right at the pin. We're adding top spin. It's going to be approximately 2.8 bar of top spin. I'm performing a fringe check there where the fringe meets the green, and that is plus two with the grizzly level nine, and that will be plus five with the grizzly level eight. We're going to use grizzly nine numbers regardless of what club level you are using. Red ring touching the rough line and then you'll see where the ball guide is just there pointing at the pin then here for a plus two fringe check the tweak will be 64 percent slider 15 percent elevation two percent slider per yard so if your fringe check is plus four you're going to play that 68 percent and so on like i said that's a revised slider value because i just sneak this one in on the left so the new slider value on the notepad will get you right at the pin Nice hole in one here on hole number eight. We're going to go with a kingmaker or a kingslayer. Keep that wind below eight miles per hour. Four and a half bars backspin, one bar side spin to the right. And then we are adding spin first and then finding our position. References are blue ring touching the rough on the left. You will see there the second bounce is on that junction of the green squares. And the first bounce, you can have a look at that tree shadow as well. So a few things to refer to when he's setting up this shot. Of course, you will need to tweak for wind angles here, as with all of these par threes, uh, pretty much in any division, particularly expert and master. Mid plus 10, power four settings. Mid plus 10, power four. Don't worry about uh, the trees or the fact you ingest down into the slope. Uh, this has been fine for me in testing. Obviously, perfect ball is advisable, though. Bounces very nicely, and we get a lovely camera angle and drop it for a hole in one on number eight. Closing out this front nine on hole number nine now. Very nice wind angle here as well. Uh, four top spin, two bars side spin to the left. Uh, we are going top of plus 10 yards with the APOC five and above. Look at the second bounce if you don't have APOC five or six because your ring references are different. If you do have APOC 5 and 6, it's blue ring touching the rough. APOC 4 will set up at power 3 max distance. That will be plus 16. Second bounce you can see over on that uh, island patch of fairway there. Uh, max plus 0 is the adjustment here. Max plus 0. For me, that is 6 rings. 
And then we're going to take our shot. No curl, no overpower, just a plain ball shot. Perfect ball away. And we're going to catch a very nice slope here on this little bowl-shaped fairway as we've been doing all week. Uh, be mindful of a great right there. Looks like it might clip the rough. Um, but we get drive distance of around 380 yards. Second shot, we're going to use landing position plus yards. Add spin first. Three and a half back spin, one bar side spin to the left. And then we find our position here and have a look at the ball guide here. Leaving it intentionally short of the pin. I think I just do a little bit of an adjustment here. But you want it about a green square short. And if anything, if anything, it's pointing to the left edge of the flag stick. But it's very, very tricky. Uh, so zoom in, have a look, take a token or two according to the wind strength and wind angle you might have. Plus four with the sniper 10. Uh, with uh, sniper nine, that will be plus six. Uh, that is going to be 80% slider, 10% elevation. In my case, I've just adjusted nine rings. We're going power three settings. Perfect ball away. And we're going to bounce nicely onto the green after the fairway. And we get this one in beautifully for an albatross to close out the front nine. Hole number 10, we've got a great wind angle, so I reckon it's a good idea to go aggressive if you fancy the shot, of course. Uh, put a berserker on, go with two backspin, two right spin. although you'll see from the result here, I would go with 1.8 backspin instead. At power five, max extension, half of the red ring inside the rough with APOC five and six, different ring references if you've got a different level, level club, of course. We then adjust max plus five, power five settings. This one may need a tweak or two depending on wind strength and wind angle, so please be advised of that. Then here I push up uh, to the top of plus 29 yards, so APOC 4 unfortunately is ruled out of this shot. We're going there with about one and three quarter ball curl to the right, just draw a line down from the tee and look where it goes in terms of the shot circle, we'll give you a good guide of where to go. It is going to be pretty much a shaky needle, but look at that on the green nicely, a little bit more pace on that, and you've got a chance at the hole in one, but may need a couple of tweaks depending what wind conditions you have. Once again on this hole, we're going to use the nice funnel from the top right of the pin, playing with the Guardian though due to the slight tailwind angle. Uh, eight bar of backspin, and once you've added spin, we're going to find our position and we're looking at the second bounce due to different ring sizes. You will see it is in the corner of those four green squares. So pause the video. It's just on the border of those green square columns uh, above and right of the pin. Pause the video, count the green squares as best you can to replicate. Uh, then once we've found that position, we adjust max plus 20 power three numbers as always. Uh, we want to try and keep the wind below 8 miles per hour. Anything above that is untested. You might need a little bit of a tweak. So take a token or two if you haven't got a wind four ball to hand. But the back spin grabs very nicely. And we drop this one right at pin for hole in one on hole number 11. Hole number 12, going to go with APOC and Kingmaker. We're going to add 5.8 top spin, three bars side spin to the left. And with APOC five and above, we're going to set up at the top of plus 10 yards. Uh, APOC 5 and 6 will have the red ring touching the rough. Ball guide is shown if you want to use a different level APOC. Uh, APOC 4, you will be setting up at power 3 max. We adjust max distance, zero elevation. Power 3 numbers, of course, as we are using a kingmaker. And then we're going to take our shot. Going to go with plenty of curl, so draw a line down from the T you'll see it would then touch the inner tip of the triangle just before uh, circle uh, drop in terms of overpower because I don't use grids. So as before, I find that point and then just back up just before it. Drive distance is going to be here around 375 yards. Second shot, we're going to use our landing position plus yards. Add spin first, one bar of backspin, and then find our position with the yellow ring touching the rough and the ball guide will be just to the back of the cup. I'll zoom in for you. There you go. So two things to look at there. Yellow ring and ball guide when you, once you've got your backspin added. Then we're going to use landing position plus yards. Zero elevation 
here and plus five with the sniper 10 that would be plus seven with the sniper level nine that's going to play out at 82 percent slider if it was plus four i'd be going with 80 percent uh, plus three 77 percent um, all depends where you are, of course, from your drive. So modify the slider value accordingly. We have a tutorial on that on the Academy tutorial homepage, on the channel homepage. Perfect ball away once we've done our adjustment. And this one tracks nicely onto the green and falls for the Albatross on hole 12. Before we look at the final six holes of this weekend round playthrough, don't forget Superstar 9 Hole Cup next week. Tournament reveal is already up on the channel. There will be a pro and expert playthrough for you to enjoy as well. And if you're playing expert in that nine hole cup, we've got you covered here. We will have a qualifying round and final round guide videos, tournament wins up on Thursday and Saturday, respectively. Hole number 13, we are going to use the rock for ball guide and accuracy. Four bars of top spin, one bar side spin to the right. And we're going to set up with the um, half of the clear ring inside the rough on the left. At max distance with the rock level 8, at uh, the top of plus 15 with the rock level 9. Then we adjust maximum distance, 20% elevation, max plus 20 on this one. If you haven't got the rock 8, you would have to improvise a bit with a different driver, but it's nice to use the rock if you can due to that accuracy. And we play into a narrow fairway. So max plus 20, power 3, then a plain ball shot, no curl, no overpower, just concentrate on hitting perfect. And this ball is going to roll very nicely. We don't want to push it too hard because I want to play rings from min with the thorn rather than an overmax distance end bringer. Drive distance is going to be around 350 to 355 yards. Second shot, find the minimum distance line with the thorn. No spin and then count your rings until you've got the ball guide going to the pin. OK, so count up five at a time and then uh, no spin at all. So you don't need to worry about that. Just get the ball guide going to the pin. Make sure the ball guide isn't short of the cup because there is a slight headwind angle. Now we've turned the corner in terms of our shot direction. 1% slider per ring from min. In the video here, I think I pushed up 12 rings from min. So this will be 12% slider. Uh, zero elevation and pull this one over the bullseye, please. Over the bullseye. Power three settings. Um, so for me, that was a uh, not many rings at all with the thorn to be honest playing rings from min it's a nice accurate adjustment and we're dropping this one very nicely for an eagle on hole 13. hole 14 it looks like there is an aggressive option here i did try a few slices though and a couple of them ended very nastily with a palm tree getting in the way so maybe not advisable there instead i'm going to show you an albatross with an nmt shot with the rock and a kingmaker we're going with two and a half top spin three bars side spin to the left and then we're going to adjust max plus 10 from the no movement target position so you don't need to find your landing position here just make sure you enter with the right club and ball pre-selected i do two pulls here because otherwise the trees can get in the way due to wind angle 0.8 ball curl to the left look at the edge of the king maker for a reference there and again just before the circle drops there to make sure you're not adding any unintentional underpower or overpower in comparison to what I do in the video. Drive distance here is going to get to that dark green patch on the fairway, 340 yards thereabouts. Second shot, we are going to play uh, with the sniper and add some top spin, but always three bars of right spin. Going to be around one to one and a half top spin, and you want to try and find a non glitchy point. This is working very well from this consistent drive for me. You'll see the second mount is just before the fringe, ball guide going towards the hole, but stopping a little bit short. So try and replicate that if you possibly can. Then as we are at max, we're going to play this one max distance, zero elevation, power three setting. So max plus zero. And once we've done that, that was uh, my adjustment done there. We're just going to take our shot. This is not going to be an albatross every single time due to the uh, inconsistencies on the green. But you've got a good chance and the worst case scenario is you're going to have a putt for the eagle. Very luckily here though we drop it beautifully at the pin for the albatross on number 14. Hole 15 then we're going to show you a close miss here. Power 5 ball first, find the complete minimum distance line with the red ring touching the sand. 
then switch to your Kingmaker or your Kingslayer. We're going here with 1.4 backspin and 1.2 side spin to the left. Weird amounts, I know, and we will need to tweak this one. Uh, very, very nasty wind angle. Have a look at the ball guide there with spin added as an extra reference. Pretty much direct headwind, which is uh, fairly unpleasant. We are going to play this one maximum distance, 35% elevation. Um, you will need a tweak if you've got higher wind than 8 miles per hour on this one. And in fact, you're going to need a tweak or two anyway, because we just missed this one to the side. Um, but it's showing you a potential setup. If you want to take a token or two to tweak yourself, then you can. If not, you're not going to risk the birdie at all with this approach. Perfect ball lands nicely. Just missing this one, though, on the right-hand side here. Very tough wind angle on hole 15. Disclaimer here on 16, this shot may not be for everybody due to the wind angle variance you may get. It is a luminary shot as well, untested with a berserker. 4.5 top spin and 2 left spin. You will need an APOC 5 and above on this one, I'm afraid. Aim in the middle of the bunkers, so stretch out, and then we are going to adjust max plus 10, power 5. Have a look very carefully at the wind angle here. If you have a few degrees more crosswind, uh, you might need more topspin and you would probably need to push back up to max. And even then, I'm not sure if you're going to make it out. It is one I would recommend you test. We're at plus 23 after the adjustment. I push up three yards and then I go with full overpower, no curl. It's a slightly steadier needle, but you still need to concentrate on hitting perfect. So just check your wind angle on this one. If you don't feel that this is for you and you're not happy with the risk, then play obviously a safer layup and approach the green from the right hand side from the tee for your birdie instead. Hole 17, I'm going to use the Guardian here uh, because we need extra backspin that the Sniper, even in level 10, isn't going to offer. Seven and a half bars of backspin, add your spin first. And then here, the focus is all on the second and third bounce rather than the rings due to different club accuracies. You'll see the second bounce is uh, just at the end of the fringe and the third bounce is just over the centre line of that green square column. However, I missed this one to the right, so I would kind of aim that third bounce more in the middle of those dark green squares. Definitely need to keep the wind below 8 miles per hour here, because otherwise you may hit the min line of your club. So uh, please be advised about that one. You might need to have an alternate option or a backup plan just in case. Or you could drop to a lower power ball, but of course then if you're playing free to play may be an issue controlling the speed mid plus 10 power 2 settings and with the tweak to the aim that i suggested of course subject to any wind angle tweaks just nudging the aim a bit to the left might have had that one in for a hole in one and finally on to hole number 18 nice wind angle here going to play with four top spin and two left spin with the apoc five and above you will set up at the top of plus 10 and with APOC 5 and 6, you can have the blue, half of the blue ring, sorry, inside the rough on the left. Um, other levels of APOC will have different ring references due to different accuracy stats. APOC 4, you're setting up at max. Look at the second bounce as well after adding spin. Then we're going to adjust max plus 10, power 3. So max plus 10, power 3 on this one. If anything, it's good to favour a little bit of 11.59 just to remove the risk of a dead bounce on the fairway island, but generally I've been okay. No curl. If you are finding yourself getting a dead bounce, uh, like I said, just try a bit more 11.59 or a couple of clicks of OP. But you want to roll out to between 375 and 380 yards. Uh, second shot, we're going to go four backspin and one left spin. Now, I have dropped this adjustment already, but sadly, the screen recording wasn't working and I couldn't get the replay. So uh, you're going to have to trust me, this has dropped, but here I just missed this one. Ball guide pointing just right of centre in the dark green square column there. Um, but the adjustment on the notepad is the tweak that should uh, get you nicely in there. We're going landing position plus yards. So for plus seven, I'm going to play this one 87% slider and 15% elevation. You can see there where I adjusted, my pull angle was not very good at all, which caused the miss. Um, a true pull angle there, a nice straight pull on the rings. 
uh, would be in for the Albatross. So 87% slider, 15 elevation. Just burnt the left edge there due to a dodgy pull, but a great chance with a nice setup on hole 18. Thank you for watching this Thanksgiving tournament video here on the channel. Finally, don't forget to join us on Facebook. It is free to do so. Over 11,000 members. Shot sharing, free guides as well, and loads of discussions. You don't necessarily have to chat. You can just lurk, but plenty of useful content and fun discussion points over there. I look forward to seeing you there. Good luck in the tournament. See you soon. Bye for now.